Place accumulator time at Turf and Tain. They're all set. 11.60 metres. Gates are open. Away they go. Winter Star was a bit slow to get going. Up along the inside, Summer Adieu began fairly well. And also right up there is Raving Queen. Making that a line of three is Giant's Niece. And towards the outside, Adriatic Skyhead of Jewel Collection. Virgo's Babe is about three lengths off the early gallop. Striking Alice is there too. Back then to Seattle Ferry. Up along the inside is Woodrose, followed by Scarlet Moon in behind. And that is Winter Star as I head on down to the last 600 metres now. Along the inside, Raving Queen from Adriatic Sky, Virgo's Babe has moved up strongly on the outside to now be in contention. In behind that comes Winter Star, further back to Summer Adieu as I head on down to the 200. Winter Star has come from nowhere to hit the front now, and Winter Star's gone two lengths clear of Virgo's Babe, who is travelling very well. They've got 200 to go. Winter Star is the one to get a hold of Virgo's Babe. Babe has switched to the inside, but Winter Star has run past them like a good one. And Winter Star for Donovan Mansur has torpedoed in this race, one by three, beaten the Gauteng two-year-old Philly Virgo's Babe second. Woodrose fighting it out with Seattle Trade for minor money. This was an excellent win, considering the Philly was slow at the gate and took the lead up with 200 metres to go and bolted it. Number 11, Winter Star, comes through smartly to win our third race at Turfentine, beating home SA Philly's nursery winner Virgo's Babe and doing it in a very good style under Donovan Mansour for the Johan Janssen van Furen stable. She came through to score that second career victory and only third outing, so lots of improvement to come, Don, but a little bit slow way. I don't know if she got a little bit squeezed at the jump. Yeah, Jules, I wasn't really worried because we know how good she is and it's just so nice when they come and show us at the races. Last time I jumped, I bounced her and she pulled a bit, so I was happy to miss it a little bit today. And, yeah, you know, unfortunately we were very unlucky with her prep for the nursery. Um, she flipped in the float and was scratched first time out, so it set us back, but this is a horse. Eh? Yeah, Distance-wise, I mean, it's hard because she's doing it so well over these sprints, but her mother went over much further than this. Do you think eventually when she learns what's going on, she'll get a bit further? Rules are out and I don't mind if she doesn't get further. Mm. There's just one race I want her to get is that 1400 for the ready to run race. <laughs> if she can get that 14, I don't have to ask her again to go 14. She's doing well, yeah. Let's keep her here and please God hope everything goes well. Well, congratulations to you. I know you've rated this filly from the last time I spoke to you. So obviously it all comes together when they come out to win their back to back wins. Yes, and I must just say um, well done to Mr. Viramutu. Vix, well done brother, and he deserves it, he's put in a lot of money into the game, and well done to Johan, he's going to show you how good, what a good trainer he is, and to my sister Monique who helps at the yard. Congratulations, anything else we can watch you, I know you got Malachite I think coming up next? Yeah, <laughs> shame. <laughs> okay, well to be, I'll speak to Johan about yeah. that, but anything else that we can chat to you about? Oh, well, Malachite, this is his distance, 1400 is too far for him, yeah. he'll definitely be there, if he wins, I don't know, depends on him. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well done to Donovan Mansour. Johan, a nice relief because I know you've always rated her. She's shown you good work back home and at least she produces it on the track as well. Yeah, Julie, we, um, we came here today quietly confident. Um, we thought we knew a massive shot, but obviously you've got to respect the nursery winner. And the way she won it also that day, she didn't just win it. She, she, she won it so easily. Um, but this filly, after the first run, she came on so much to a second run. And from a second run to this run, she came on more. It's just unbelievable the work she shows us in the morning. And for her to come here and produce it on the track, it's just unbelievable. Okay, now what's the plan with her? Because obviously you're prepping her for the ready to run, but that's only in November. So from now until then, what are you going to do with her? Julie, well, um, we're not going to carry on running on a hard ground through winter. Um, we did nominate her for Durban on the 30th in a juvenile race uh, for Durban bred horses. So we'll see where we draw her. We're not going to carry her with from a bad draw. Um, and if she doesn't run, if she shows such good work at home, we can bring her back in, uh, prepare her on the sand and get her ready for the ready to run cup. Well, congratulations. You've got your plan in order. Malachite, I know he's plagued with breathing problems. You've brought him back in distance. You're hoping that does the trick? Julie, we actually spoke about it before. He ran the 1450 last time, but that we're going to pull him back to 1200. And unfortunately, he drew well, so we were forced to run him in the 1450. But uh, Donovan told me, Pierre told me, I agree with him, back to 1160. Obviously, this, this maiden plate looks slightly stronger than, than a couple of maidens he's run against previously. But um, he's exceptionally well, so we expect, expect him to be in the money. Well, congratulations to you and your team. You're ticking along very nicely. Lovely. And uh, Julie, just Mr. Virimutu, his first horse in this country, a winter star, so just unbelievable that she's like a decent filly like this. Congratulations. Thank you.
Well done to Mr. Viramutu, the winning owner down in Mauritius, and uh, he'll be ecstatic with this win. Bred by Summer Hill Stud, our champion breeders. Number 11, Winter Star, comes through to score that second career victory from only 11 outings, giving Johan Janse van Vuren another winner to his record, and uh, Donovan Mansur teaming up with this one. Next race is, of course, the start of the pick six. It's got that pick six carryover, so time to take those pick sixes.